before we move on to the next one, uh, I would like to, to just have a quick uh, recap on, on what we did last time. Uh, and that's um, holding pad for beginners. For me personally, I, I believe that uh, the most important part of holding pad is not just beginners, but anybody is trying to figure out, uh, work out the, the speed of their punching uh, and try to match it. Sometimes they, they, they throw the punch and release the, the punching either late or too early left hand faster than the right or vice versa and you know a lot of these things that you need to, to slow it down because you're not just teaching them how to punch properly but also avoid yourself from having injuries. Uh, I talked about um, have, a, have a practice of you know, to throw it 40% uh, speed and power and till you get used to that and then 60 and 80. And then once you, um, you 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 figure out and 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 read and match the speed of where you meet the, the punch, then uh, you can start doing freestyle and other fancy stuff. But uh, to me, the most important thing and key element of bed holding is is um, having the ability to read the speed of your uh, student and match them on, on the right place to avoid the injury for both of you. We're just going to ignore the distance for now and just uh, uh, draw it in half a circle, bend the knee down. I want you to imagine um, this is uh, your boxer, this is your pet. I know I'm a terrible drawer, but I want you to imagine from the same level, without dropping the hand down, I want you to imagine drawing a circle. To the snap line, of course, the, the pet holder will meet the punch there. Okay, at this point, the snap line, and it'll be the same with this side as well. Hook, yeah, I don't want you to put it in the hip or twist or pivot, just bring your arm. Okay? Come on, yeah. Doesn't matter if you, um, if you have your hand vertical or uh, a roll, the main thing is to do your elbow and your knuckle. Uh, on the same path when you land a punch. But for more consistent knuckle shot, it's best to retain it. Oh, yeah. And I, I talked about before uh, on how you draw the circle when you throw the hooks. Uh, when you throw the upper gut and the hook, I don't want you to focus too much on the hip because sometimes the nervous system will kick in anyway. Uh, just get your student to feel comfortable drawing that, that half a circle and line the elbow and a knuckle uh, on impact. So whether you throw a hook this way, this way, this way, this way, and when you find the upper gut, I want you to do the same thing. Draw a, a, a semicircle down and up. Okay, so like this. And the other side. Okay, draw the circle. Besides, when you get more experience, then you can sort of start experimenting with different shots. But for now, we're just going to keep it very, very basic. If you notice, Lolo is not pulling back, he's just down and forward. There's a lot of people, even a lot of professionals, that are still doing this. Okay, instead of just drawing a circle down and up. Forward, all forward movement. 